My name is Joanna Medden. I am CEO and co-founder of On The Move, along with Patrick Netter. Hello. Hello. By the way, does this taste better or worse than Kentucky Fried Chicken? <laughs> <laughs> and we are here. Thank you so much for that amazing introduction. Yeah. And I wow. think we can just leave now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've heard everything I need to hear. <laughs> And we're going to talk a little bit about what On The Move does and what we're all about. And then we are going to invite you at your leisure. We'll be in the other room for you all to try it and feel what Uncle Bob and Marv have experienced as they have tried it. It looks like um, kind of just a square box, but your muscle engagement will be your calves, your hamstrings, your quads, and your core. On the Move Mini Tread was developed for those of us that sit all day in an office environment. Our parents, our grandparents, our friends who sit all day at home unable <clears throat> to walk on a regular basis and who maybe they'll get out for physical therapy once a week, but there's really not a lot of safe exercise equipment that they can do at home without worrying about balance. We've created it so that the speed starts very, very slowly at 0.2 miles per hour for those that have severe mobility limitations, maybe can barely lift their legs up. And then we have the speed will go up as high as three miles per hour, which let me tell you, you feel like you're Legs mm -hmm. are going to kind of walk away right there. Some wide um, receivers can't go three miles an hour on this thing. <laughs> so while on it, you get the full muscle engagement. And again, we'll encourage you to come and try it. Our partnership with the Retired Players Congress is really to help introduce this unit not only to the sports teams, but to the alumni, to their fan bases, and also provide an opportunity for some of the alumni to earn some extra income by promoting this unit within their communities and to their fan bases. And we see this as an opportunity to really help a lot of people get some of that mobility back to build some stamina, build some strength. Um, we have a lot of wonderful ideas for how we can become We'll call it like the Peloton for seniors um, and create an engaging um, element where people will be able to communicate both with each other um, and a rewards program which will encourage participation. One of the reasons that this unit works so well is because it's motorized. When it's motorized, you're not changing any behavior. Two of the most natural motions are to walk and to sit. <laughs> so we allow both to be combined without changing behavior. You can work while using it. It's not distracting, but because your circulation is increasing, it can help with focus. And they're doing study after study to talk about how lack of exercise only increases dementia and, and will accelerate Alzheimer's. And so our goal really is to get the circulation going, have it be fun while you're doing it. And uh, Patrick will share a couple of stories of experiences that we have had while we have shared the uh, mini tread. So here's a question. Does this sound counterintuitive to you? I've never asked this question before. And, and, and this is family here. So, um, does it sound weird what, what, what this is to you? Because I'm watching you, some of you are nodding, your, yeah, that makes sense. Or does this, what's, anybody have any? It sounds logical. Yeah. Oh. It, Very logical. It, it sounds logical to you. Yes. It's, it, it's, <clears throat> it's essential. I would, I'm here with another company today, my company. Yes. But I'm a vegan, I'm into martial arts, yoga, and science. Herbalist, I'm onto very different sciences, okay? Yes. The first law of life is motion. First law of life. 
and you talked about oxygen needing the brain for yes. blood circulation. Yes, yes. Motor, we all move, so that's called motor function. Yes. And that is a phenomenal piece because, um, like you said, if you're impaired, if you're mobile, you can still sit down and do basic functionality. And you have to move. We're not moving enough. And if you look at the health industry today, many of you, you don't have to talk about it. You understand what you're all, you're the, co the cost of this is. So I'm just saying it's the essential motion movement doing something. Wow. Gravity is pulling constantly. That's, that, that's exactly, yes. Albert, what's your specific benefit health-wise? That's a great question, uh, and, and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a specific th That's a brilliant benefit. question, and yes. what we did, we've done, we did a case study, and because of the, of the results of this case study, we now have a full study that could be publishable, and here was the case study. We took a, a gentleman, 62 years old, had him walk one mile an hour, for eight minutes on a regular treadmill, something we all do. Because we know there, there's millions of studies that, that talk about what the benefits of walking. So then, and he had arthritis on his left hip. Had him sit down on the move, on the mini tread, same, eight minutes, one mile an hour on this, and, and tested for caloric expenditure, uh, increase of heart rate, increase of, uh, there was about five uh, metrics that we studied. Now, right now, I'm putting one leg, it's about 10% of my body weight. So it's 100% of the body weight. And what I, what I told the doc, I said, if it's only 10 or 20% as good in terms of results, I'm abandoning this. He says, did you, did you get the results? You're going to be surprised. Do you want to take a guess? What percent of value of caloric burn, of oxygenation, we were talking about of the benefits. What percent? It's only ten percent of the body weight. Yeah. I'd say thirty percent. What? I'd say thirty. Thirty percent. That, that's more. I said twenty-five. Okay, thirty. Anybody else? Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. I don't like to guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I will tell you. Nine one percent. Shockingly, why we don't know yet. There's some. There's some theories. There's more engagement of your hamstring. There's more engagement of your core. So that is counterbalancing the lack of body weight. But as you were saying, if you have any mobility disability, if you have any balance issue, or if you're stuck at a desk all day long, th this is it. Yes? Uh, have you got it classified with the FDA at all for to get it approved for like Medicare or Medi-Cal? Or like that? Uh, the business. Uh, that, <laughs> that is absolutely a goal of ours. Mm -hmm. um, our production status, we have our first 100 pre-production units coming in the next six weeks. Those we will strategically pay, place throughout hospitals, um, some sports facilities, senior facilities, and gather more of that data that we can bring to do our application and ensure that it will pass through. In addition to that, we want to partner with some of the insurance companies, as and particularly with um, large self-insured corporations who really understand wellness in the same way that internationally they understand and respect wellness. So we want to partner um, so that they will cover some of the cost, if not all of the cost of, um, of the unit and offer it to their base. Yes. Great. Yes. We'll, we'll do questions and answers. They'll actually be posted in here. You can try the machine for oh, the next. Oh, sorry. Time. No, it's okay. <laughs> Take a little well, through it by uh, uh, Thank you. We're, we're, yes. We have the rest what? of the afternoon to actually physically go in there. Yes, and, and we'll be in the other room. One a, a ten right. second Next ending time. to the story with the gentleman, you know, with our case study. The other difference was he did feel pain walking upright uh, on the treadmill. He did not feel it from this position. Well, so, uh, yes. Okay. No. No? Oh, All right. We're...